Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping Tactical Nut here. And today I'm really excited to bring to you not just one holster review, not just two holster reviews, but three holster reviews in one. Um, we got the RK Leather, AG Holster and Kydex, the Brata Holster and Carbon Fiber, two outside the waist or inside the waistband, one outside the waistband. So this is gonna be good. So stick around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my concealed carry journey has begun. Um, I got my concealed carry permit maybe close to a month ago. Um, and so because of that, I went ahead and started getting some holsters because I've always heard that finding the right holster for yourself is, well, you may just go through multiple holsters in order to find the right fit for you, the right style, and uh, the right carry option. So Roadkill over at RK Leather, he had sent me this uh, back in the spring or beginning of summer. Um, but unfortunately, I hadn't had my, my concealed carry permit hadn't come yet, so I couldn't really wear it much. Um, but now that I had it, I now have had a chance to wear it. And the last time I went out camping, I really wanted to demo all of these holsters, but there were so many people out there that I just couldn't find a place to shoot. So, um, but just to give you an idea, this is for the Smith & Wess M&P 22 compact um, as you can see it is an absolutely perfect fit uh, I'll let you see the logo and the awesome job the awesome work he does on this it's a very thick and durable leather hand stitched I mean this thing has just been incredibly comfortable um, now I'm gonna put these on in just a second but since I gotta take my belt on and off for this one uh, we'll kind of get to this one last but I did contact this company called AG Holsters. Really want y'all to know about these because these guys are really new. Um, they've only been in business for a few months. Uh, so I will leave all the links down below in the description so you can get to contact these people. Um, but yeah, this one's for a Kydex. Retention is outstanding. You hear that click, just perfect retention here. Perfect fit and finish. Uh, the clip. I really like this style of clip. Um, it is a little bit larger, so you got to be a little bit careful when drawing because I do practice draw around the house, so I can get used to that. Um, but very easy to get on and off. Uh, very conceals very well. And then the Brata holster. This one is in carbon fiber. Um, Eugene over at the Shadow Warriors Network, uh, or not Network, Shadow Warriors Facebook group, he's the one that. Uh, got me in touch with this guy because unfortunately I will say this having a Smith & Wesson Sigma can be kind of difficult to find a company that makes a holster for it uh, so he helped hook me up with Brad holsters and I mean I'm telling you guys if you don't like carbon fiber there's something really wrong with you <laughs> just saying uh, the clip on this I like it it has really good retention but it is a little more difficult to get on and off but as far as inside the waistband both of these have been really comfortable um, this one just looks a little more stylish not that anybody's really gonna see it because it's inside your pants but I do really like it uh, now to kind of give you a demo as to what these look like hopefully I will still be in camera not too much in the shadow this time of day the Sun keeps moving all right now just to give you an idea of what it looks like just turning around and hands up but easy to draw and turn put back in um, so that's the Brata holster now the AG holster now this one I will say go ahead and say this one was really difficult to get on and off for about the first week, week and a half. But now that I've done it a bunch, the clip seems to have loosened up a little bit. So that seems to help. So this one, oh, hands down first. So just as you're walking around, hands up. And then of course, easy to draw from. And reholster. Uh, both very comfortable. Um, I 
will say both are very high quality uh, craftsmanship. The work detail is <laughs> really, really nice. Um, I mean, for these guys to have just started and only been in business for a few months, kind of give you an idea of the thickness of the Kydex. I don't know what kind of Kydex. I will contact him and then I'll put it in the description below or bottom of the screen, something like that, uh, to let you know. But, I mean, just against your body, does really, really well. Um, and feels really good. Now, Brad, I think they have a lot larger, excuse me, sorry about that, larger holster selection. Um, I will leave the number for AG holster just so you will know. Uh, contact them so they can give you the options that they have but really nice guy that I talked to his name was Alan uh, I had to give him my gun so he could fit it to it and got it back within a week and I'm supremely happy with it the Brata holster I mean extremely good quality here I mean carbon fibers carbon fiber it's just awesome uh, so now let me cut the camera so I can take the belt off and then put on the RK leather holster so you get an idea of that. All right, so now you'll be able to see what this one looks like. Put the hands up. Right. And easy to draw and reach holster. So I kind of give you a better look at it here. Hope you can see it well. Uh, now this is definitely the most comfortable because it is not in the waistband. Um, but I mean, I gotta tell you, this thing is really, really nice. I've been very impressed. I mean, old roadkill, he knows what he's doing. You have got to check him out. If you like leather holsters, leather knife sheaths, all that kind of stuff, he's doing wallets, uh, all kind of stuff going on to RK leather. I'm telling you, he's really, really awesome. Really, really nice guy. And now this is also a lot quieter than Kydex. <laughs> So, uh, his work is just amazing. Uh, now, as you can see, I can sit back. This is still comfortable wearing it just like this. The other two holsters, they're fine in most chairs and seats and stuff like that. But in the car, you will begin to notice this a little bit more. Um, I have been even just sitting around the house wearing these as much as I possibly could since I've gotten them so that I could get the most use in be able to relay to you the kind of information we got going on and what I really think of them. Uh, and so far, all three are a hit. All three I would definitely recommend. Um, let me go ahead and take this one back off. Uh, oh, and so the belt I'm wearing with all three, I have been wearing the 511 Tactical Trainer Belt. Uh, this has been really good belt, really comfortable, really easy to use. Uh, Velcro so it's not going to flap around or you, or you still can run it through the belt loop if you want um, But I also like this belt because with this holster where it's going to sit is going to Can change depending on where your belt loops are But I found that even if I skip a belt loop I can tighten this belt enough that it doesn't move at all So the belt itself has helped tremendously um, And I mean just can't go wrong RK Leather is just outstanding craftsmanship uh, and everybody has their own uh, styles of what they like. Some really like leather, some really like Codex, and some really like carbon fiber. Um, and this is an inch and a half belt so as you can see the RK Leather does work with that width uh, as well as the other two holsters. Sorry. I'm putting my belt on a camera but <laughs> what do you do right all right so I guess the real question is what do I prefer do I have a favorite out of these three and I'm gonna be honest 100% honest I can't decide <laughs> this one is the most comfortable Roadkill knocked it out of the park with the craftsmanship, the hand stitching, right? The beautiful work that's on it makes it a lot more personalized in my opinion. Um, so this is definitely the most comfortable. Uh, the only issue with it is that it's outside the waistband. So when you're bending over, reaching for things and stuff that can 
make it more likely that you're going to reveal that you're wearing a gun, um, but supremely comfortable. Between these two, inside the waistband, honestly, I kind of like the AG holster a little more because I like the clip a little better. And as far as comfort, uh, they're about the same. Uh, so it's kind of a wash when you get that one, when you're looking at that. The Brata holster to me is better looking just because it's carbon fiber. I love the looks of carbon fiber. Um, but like I said, since it's inside the waistband, people aren't going to see it. So that's more of up to you what you would prefer. Um, but then, you know, there's people that get all kind of logos and patterns, which AG holsters, he can also do uh, different types of printing on the holster. So just let him know uh, or contact him and he can tell you what all they can do. I did see one that had, I think it was a flag of Texas or an American flag. I can't remember which now, but that one looked really good. It was for a Glock 19, I believe. Uh, so guys, check these out. I'm going to order a... Uh, inside the waistband for appendix carry. I do want to try that. That's the way I've wanted to try it. I will say that about these two. I did try to carry them both appendix style, but the problem is, is it makes the grip of the gun. And I'll just kind of show you with each one. So it sits here, it draws easy. Holster's easy, but then you got this, right? I need this to not look like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna either maybe contact another company, see if they wouldn't mind sending one for a review. If you know anybody, that would be really nice of you. Um, but I definitely wanna try that style as well. But as far as these two go, excellent for what they are. And if you like outside the waistband carry, because this is faster, easier to get to, uh, just the only downside is potentially your shirt coming up and people seeing your gun. Um, so, okay guys, I hope this helps you and your purchasing decisions. Definitely check out RK Leather. He is awesome. I'll put the links to Facebook, Instagram uh, for him. AG Holster. I will leave the number down below because I don't think they have a website up and running yet, but you can always contact them to find out what they offer. And then Brad Holster is linked to his website. And I think you've got three good options here, guys. Okay. Hopefully this will help you. In the meantime, be prepared.